Please don't attack me for this video. Stands of these certain superstars. Please don't attack me for this. Well, actually, you give your opinions. But I'm going to tell you why I'm not a fan of this faction. And, well, it's nothing personal against the women themselves. But before we get into that, before we get into that, guys, this is Aaron. Aaron Warrior, AW, presenting you a wrestling video on his latest SmackDown channel. Make sure if you're new here, subscribe, smash that like button, share this video with your friends, family, colleagues, the whole world, especially if they like wrestling. This is a channel for you. It's smash that like button, as I said, it's just a second ago. Also, click that notification bell down below, down below, to let you know when. Videos like this will come up, will be uploaded, and when I have streams coming up. Tomorrow, I do have a stream coming up for my Wrestling Rival series. I've done two episodes. The first episode was Stone Cold in the Rock. The second was Ship Boys and Shawn Michaels. The third episode tomorrow is Kane and The Undertaker, the, the brothers. That'll be my third episode. And that will be a live stream. Come join me for that. And tell me your story. Tell me your stories in the live chat. Your thoughts about that whole, about that whole story between Kane and The Undertaker. Has been expanded throughout the decades. It's still talked to this day. It's one of the best stories. But yes, let's get into this. So, look, look. It's nothing with these women individually themselves. Bailey, the cook, Eosha. It's nothing against them individually themselves. It's the makeup of the team I have the issue with. Okay? I just don't find. I just don't feel it. I just find some of the. Some of them misplaced, particularly Io Shirai. I understand why she's in it because so 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 Bailey and Dakota Kai can do most of the talking. Obviously, Io Shirai only knows a little bit of English, right? Obviously, that's why they're in the stable. She does when she talks, she does a lot of Japanese and no one line English, which is okay. Asuka does that, Asuka doesn't talk much either. It's just that. I feel Io Shirai is out of place, out of place in the stable. I understand why she's in it, but she doesn't fit the stable personally. I think, she, like, I know she's tagged team touching Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai fits, fits with Bailey here. That's kind of fit with Bailey here a bit. But Io Shirai, Io Shirai I, seems better off as an individual. Then as a member of a stable or a tag team, and she'd be on SmackDown right now. And SmackDown, well, she is a tag team champion, so technically she's on both brands. I don't know what designated brand these superstars are part of. I think the Raw, but SmackDown really can use some star power. I mean, they got Wanda Rousey, obviously, Liv Morgan. I don't know. Shayna Baszler. They, they, they kind of lack star power on SmackDown. I think Earl Shirai would have helped. Help that division because she's arguably the best one of the best women wrestlers in the pl on the planet, and definitely in the WWE. And I feel she's out of place. And here's the thing with damage control, yeah, this is a faction they have damage control, D, D, A, damage and control with like, like the keyboard button, you know, the control button on there. That's that's what it is. That's what it is on your laptop. Or whatever, or your, or your regular PC, the control button. Like, see, you know what I would have done instead? Instead of Eel Shirai, I would still have her on the main monster with Triple H in charge, but on SmackDown. At SummerSlam, I have two, two options. SummerSlam, Dakota Kai is fine, but instead of Eel, Eel Shirai, or Eel Sky, she's now called, I would have Mikhail Gonzalez come out. To stand alongside Bailey and Dakota Kai. If you guys don't know, if you don't watch NXT for about a year and a half, Raquel Gonzalez or Raquel Rodriguez, as she is now, and Dakota Kai have been tag team partners. And then Dakota turned on her, and they became tag team partners for briefly again a little bit later in this earlier in this year, about April or May, before Dakota got released and Raquel got caught up. But I. But I think that would fit better. I would love to see set a team on the main roster. I think that would fit better with with Bailey. Because what we guess would have been the powerhouse. Bailey would have been the leader. Leader, obviously. And the Kai would have been the future. Or future. 
along with Raquel Rodriguez. I think that would be better than Io Shai. I mean, Io Shai is great in the ring, tremendous in the ring. Like, don't get me wrong. I just don't think she fits with this faction, this trio. I think Raquel Rodriguez would be better. Now, like, better. Especially with especially with the familiar... How she... Familiar. How she's familiar with Dakota Kai. <laughs> Dakota Kai as as a tag team. I think that would have fit better with the Adapted Show. Now, Eel Sky or Eel Sky should be a SmackDown, a singles or whatever. And I think that would definitely boost up SmackDown. And my other thing is, if they didn't bring back Eel Sky or Dakota Kai, and if Chip Boys could have got this done in time, or WWE could have got this done, repair this relationship between Sasha Banks and Naomi, have Sasha Banks and Naomi join Bailey at SummerSlam, and they could afford damage control. Can you imagine that? The Boston Hog connection, along with Naomi joining Bailey, to become a faction, a trio. That would have blown the that would have blown the roofs off. People would have been gone crazy. Well, wrestling fans would have gone crazy, crazy, if that would have happened. But unfortunately, that did happen, obviously, because Sasha and Naomi are not are not back yet, and yet they're they're. And they're still in the public eye. They're going to they're going to premieres. She Hawk. I know I know they went. I know Sasha Banks went to Andor. Stuff like that. She went to fashion show. She participated in a fashion show. She dressed up as Slave Leia. I'm sorry if I use that word. I, you know what I mean. And now we've been hanging around with her. And I, hopefully the rumors are true that they're, they're getting close to coming back at some point. Because SmackDown would have another boost. But, like, don't get me wrong. These three women are great in the ring. All individually in the ring. It's a tag team great in the ring. I just don't feel like they fit. I just don't feel like Eel Sky particularly fits with this faction. I think she's better off as an individual. Or on, especially on SmackDown. She should have a solo career on SmackDown. I feel like they should replace her with Raquel Rodriguez. Just to reunite here with Dakota Kai. To bring that tag team. Back on the bring that tag team that they had in the NXT or NXT 2.0 at times, have that tag team be on the main roster, Jordan Bailey, and they can still call the group damage control. That's what I would. That's what I would have done. Cause you see, with Kyle Rodriguez, right? She's champion for Leah. That's just a random tag team. Nobody bought that. Especially Leah. Nobody buys Leah. I'm sorry. I know she's from. I know she's from my city, Toronto, but I gotta be honest with her. Nobody really gives a care about Aaliyah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aaliyah's fans. <laughs> it should be, and I think she was holding my cover with back. And now that she's an individual again, Aaliyah's probably on the shelf, I think, in the storyline situation. It's better for Rodriguez, but she should have joined. She should have been an original member of Devil's Control instead of the Ill Sky. Uh, this is not me hating on them, guys. It's just me having a why, why I'm not a fan of this faction. Look, don't get me wrong. I like all three of them individually. I like all three of them individually. I just don't like the, the formation of the group. And, well, I do think they're writing they're writing them okay, but I'm, I'm, it's just that, to me, they still feel out of place at times. Like, when I see when I see the cup promos, I see Dakota and Bailey looking comfortable but I don't see I don't see Eel Sky comfortable in that faction. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below, click the notification bell. For this if you like wrestling, tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your family, tell your the whole world about this channel. Some to share, subscribe to me. Yeah, and take care guys. That AW is out.